Hello and welcome. I am Rufus Gazelle and we're here today at Worth Matravers in search of a Star Wars movie location just down that road there at Winspit Quarry. So I'm just heading into Worth Matravers now and over here something caught my eye. When I zoom in you can clearly see some sort of structure there. It looks like Stonehenge but without the stones. Take a look at this. What a fine structure we have on this hilltop, overlooking the Purbex, the sea in the distance, and the blue skies above us. I mean, come on, what better way to start the day? Only a few clouds dotted around. And this, my friends, was built by the locals of Worth Matravers and organized by the landlord, I believe, of the square and compass down in the village, which we'll go to soon, just after we leave here. But this is obviously based upon Stonehenge, as you can see, built from tree logs and stumps and the sun beaming down on my face. It really is energizing. We'll just take a little quick glance around again, but the wind is a little bit strong today, but I'm sure we will cope with it. But I just can't get over the dedication of the locals in building this. And as we walk through here, we seem to be joined by a lady who is setting up what looks like an accordion. here in Worth Matravers. Just look at this view over the Purbex and the Jurassic coastline. What a beautiful day it is today. If I've got time, I might have to come back to this pub and have a pint of Guinness just to end the day, just that little bit sweeter. But I think we'll save the Guinness for the return trip as a slight reward for my efforts. Instead, I have a coffee to keep me going on the long journey towards Winspit Quarry, which is a bit of a walk through Worth Matravers itself, and then up to where the footpath leads you down to the quarry. This really is a quaint little village here in Worth Matravers. Quite a scenic village that you would expect in amongst the Isle of Purbex down on the Jurassic Coast. And you even have the traditional telephone boxes that we still see scattered around, but no longer in use. The majority of these phone boxes tend to have books inside them, like a little mini library, or sometimes they house defibs located inside, which are used for medical emergencies. And as we pull open this door, we can see that this one doesn't have a defib inside or a small library, just the original payphone, which looks to still be in use. And as we look up, it still has the crown and the lettering sign underneath, stating that this is still a working telephone box. So I just need somewhere to dispose of my coffee cup. But luckily for me, there's a handy little sign here. Well, that was quite easy to find. I say thank you, kind sir. A lovely park here in Worth Matravers, just on the outskirts. But Mary Poppins would be quite upset if she came here because there is no kite flying allowed. Windspit, one mile, just along this private road here, down towards the coast. I will go into more detail about the history of Windspit when we get to the location. But Star Wars wasn't the only thing that was filmed down here. The quarry itself was used for many other locations in television and film. So this stone sign is pointing you in the right direction with the arrow pointing that way towards the sea. This whole area was completely closed off last year, 2021. There were numerous signs dotted around telling the public that during the months of April and May there would be no access to Winspit Quarry. This was due 
to the filming of the new Star Wars series and all. You can see just from these photographs how much equipment would have been needed to film down here to bring the props down, the sound, the camera equipment, the costumes for the cast, all of them had to be driven all the way down to the quarry down this narrow lane in front of me. There were also other signs pointing the cast and crew in the right direction towards the set, I'm guessing so they didn't get lost and walk off the edge, possibly to the rocks below, which would have been quite treacherous I guess. You can see why I say about this all being quite treacherous, I mean one fell swoop and you're gone, one slip in its curtains, and it looks like we have a load of swimmers coming into the bay here. It looks like they're doing some sort of coasteering maybe, I'm not too sure, it looks like it's coasteering quite big down here on the Jurassic coastline. They're obviously coming into the shelter of this little bay in front of us. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot of walkers around here as well today. There's a man over there walking around the edge of the bay and there's two more just heading down this cliff edge down towards the bay. And uh, yeah, just be careful there. And here we have Winspit Quarry itself, the filming location of Star Wars Andor. And here a stone placed just on the entrance. As we take a closer look, it says, in memory of Alistair Ian Campbell Johnston, drowned at Winspit, August the 19th, 1935. He loved birds and green places and the wind on the heath and saw the brightness of the skirts of God. Born 1917, died 1935. Winspit Quarry wasn't just used as a filming location for the new Star Wars series and all, it was also used for 2012's Disney film John Carter as the location of the Orkney Dig. It was also used in two stories of Doctor Who, The Underwater Menace and Destiny of the Daleks. Blake 7 was also filmed here as Planet Mecron 2 in the episode Games which we're going to take a look at now. As we pan round and see this derelict building in front of us, a small wall comes into shot and as we pause here and take a closer look at Blake Seven's episode, The Games. What's going on? High pressure reduction process. Yeah, but what's going on? That's the pressure container. An electromagnetic field produces such high pressure that everything except the Felden crystals is reduced to a fine dust. Avon. Avon. Avon, come in. It's no good. I still can't raise it. Put down your weapons. Slowly. In front of you. Well done, Villa. Sorry. So a little bit of history. Until 1940, Winspit was used as a stone quarry, providing stone for buildings in London. During World War II, it was used as a site for naval and air defences, hence the derelict buildings. This is definitely a hotspot for climbers too, as you can see. Okay, so let's have a little wander through here. There is a reason why I brought you to this part of the quarry. Not only the loose boulders and the stone and the small cave that you see in front of us, but as we look round, you can see this large rock in the centre of our screen on the floor, in amongst all the smaller boulders and rocks. Now this large rock is where the TARDIS materialises in Destiny of the Daleks. You can clearly see in a minute that Tom Baker and Lala Ward uh, appear as Doctor and Romana. So let's just show you this clip and you'll see what I'm on about. The most inviting planet. What is it? I don't know. Feeling I've been here before. Deja vu. We. Oui. Is something you recognise? Nothing tangible. Have a sensation of the air of. Can you feel it too? Not only was this location, this actual rock, 
used in Doctor Who. It was also used in Blake 7 as they made their daring escape. Look how still and calm that water is today. It's like a mill pond out there. Right, before we move on and try and find any more filming locations, I wanna go slightly off track and try and find an entrance to these caves. Go and explore them, see what's inside them. There is an entrance here, which I believe does give us access to the caves. So this will be a good starting point. I just wanna be a bit nosy, a bit inquisitive. The adventurous side coming out of me. Um, it looks a bit dark in there, so we may need a torch in a minute. But yeah, let's just have a quick look. We've got these stone columns that seem to be holding up the roof. Don't trust them at all. They look a bit dodgy, teetering on the edge, some of them. Another entrance there, but I don't want to go that way. I want to go further into the caves. So I think we'll head this way. And that column in front of us is leaning to the right. How do you trust those things? Um, hopefully no one's going to pull us in and drag us into one of these side corridors and murder us! We can see the many cracks in the ceiling that are forming over time. And I just hope that these pillars that are holding up the cave ceiling don't fall down or collapse, making this cave a tomb for Rufus Gazelle. To the back of the cave, we can see these silver glistening objects on the ridges of the sides. And it took me a while to figure out what they were and then as I got closer, I realized that someone has literally placed hundreds of these candles, although they have now melted down. But you can see that there are hundreds of these candles literally dotted all over the sides of the cave. There are some on the floor. Oh, and as we come around here, we can see there's loads dotted all around the sides of this cave. Over here, there seems to be a tunnel of some kind that leads up to the top and I don't know if you can get through but I can see light through there but maybe today isn't the day to do that so let's just head back this way and see what we can find there are some graffiti oh there's a rock there that I slipped on but here there is some graffiti on the walls that people have left over time yeah, it really is a quite unique place down here at Windspit. Definitely is an adventure to be had. As we leave the cave behind and get back on track, we're going to head over towards the derelict buildings in front of us. There's a scene from Blake 7 that I want to try and locate. That cave there is where the TARDIS materialised in Destiny of the Daleks. But round here, there is a stone ramp that was used in the episode The Games from Blake 7 that I've mentioned earlier. You'll be able to recognize it straight away when I insert this clip in a minute. It's basically that ramp, that large ramp in front of us where you can see those people walking behind it. So let's take a closer look. So as we walk up the ramp, I just wanna show you this clip. You can clearly see the slaves wheeling up trolleys full of stone and rubble up this ramp towards the edge here. They then proceeded to tip its contents into what looked like an incinerator below. So Valen clicked her fingers and then afterwards turned on the spot and started heading towards that cave entrance right in front of us. So let's take a look at the main cave and the entrance itself. You can clearly see these two entrances and this column in the middle quite clearly in Destiny of the Daleks. I wonder what could have caused it. Yeah. Something fairly serious by the look of it. So 
So let's gander on inside and take a little look and see what the main cave has to offer. It's dark, cavernous depth, the thrilling cracks in the walls and the ceilings and the, the depth of the stone that is encamping us and that may bury us forever. Sorry, slightly going off track. Now you're probably all wondering, why haven't I mentioned Andor yet? Well, there is a simple reason for that. Currently, as I'm recording this right now for you, Andor is only about five or six episodes into the show. And Winspit Quarry hasn't made an exact appearance yet. So I'm not too sure how much of this location was actually used, whether it was just exterior shots or whether they actually used inside this exact cave that we're in now. I don't actually know. I would like to think maybe they have used interior shots for the show, but I imagine it was just the outside and obviously the exterior shots that were used. But we will see, but I'm not sure which episode Winspit Quarry will make an appearance. Obviously we're five or six episodes in right now, so hopefully it won't be too much longer. But I do have a screenshot from the trailer that I do want to marry up in a minute. But we're going to leave the actual main cave now here at Winspit and head over to the old naval radar station from the war. So this old radar station was actually used as part of the Dalek City in the episode Destiny of the Daleks from Doctor Who. And we're going to take a little look over there now and look through the old ruins itself. I can't get over how calm that sea is today. But yeah, let's take a little wander over here and look inside this old building. I'm quite curious to see what's inside. It will be interesting to see what is actually used around here in the new Andor series. Whether they'll use this actual building, this ruin here, or whether they'll just use green screens and CGI. I'd imagine they probably will just use green screens and such like. But yeah, I mean, it's a good view over there of the main cave from this little derelict window that we're peering out of here. Um, but like I said, I'm still waiting on the actual episode to come out, be released, that actually shows off Winspit Quarry and Star Wars, but we'll get there. So I'm gonna leave the quarry down there for the minute and head up here as best I can. It's quite steep looking over that beautiful coastline that is the Jurassic coastline down here in Dorset. I just, yeah, it's so beautiful. I'm so lucky to live down here. But up here, I'm gonna try and marry up the photograph that I have from the trailer of Andor. I'm not going to use any footage from Star Wars simply because I don't want to get copyrighted, but it's a good view down there of the quarry just above the uh, derelict radar station. But right on the edge, just over here, I want to try and marry up this photograph. I'll put it up on the screen in a minute where it will show Winspit Quarry with what looks like an X Wing fighter parked up just below me. So if I can just, I think I need to get a bit closer. Hang on a minute, I just want to. Um, maybe I need to be a bit further over there, I'm not too sure. Um, no, this will do, this will do. So this is as close as we're going to get. So let's bring up the image and you can see clearly now Winspit Quarry in the background of this image which I've taken from the Andor trailer. Um, the cave entrance is there, the X-Wing fighter parked in front and this creature, this, this character from Star Wars, I have no idea who he is with the oxygen mask and the long barreled blaster there. Um, more will become apparent when we actually see this episode later on. Like I said, we're only halfway through at the moment, so yeah, it won't be too much longer. So let's take the image away, and you now can see, as we have done that, you can see the cave entrances in front of me, and it does marry up quite well. This is about as close as I could get. But yeah, this is the location of Star Wars Andor, so man, I guess we've got to try and get back down again. Yeah, this is going to be quite tricky. So let's do this, let's get down from this, uh, yeah, this cliff before I break a leg and either end up in the Dalek city to the left of me or down in the jagged rocks in the sea below to the right of me. Christ, it sounds like a song, doesn't it? Like a Beyonce song or something. Anyway, we're not going to go there. I'm not going to start singing. There's the uh, beautiful coastline, that is the Jurassic coastline down here in Dorset. And I think we're going to go back into the quarry quickly just to sort of marry up a couple more scenes from Doctor Who before we head out. Now, this wasn't only just used for a location for Doctor Who, Blake 7, or even Star Wars and or. It was actually used in a Disney film, which you can actually get on Disney Plus right now. And that is the film John Carter. And towards the end of that film, this whole area was used as part of the Orkney dig. So go and check that out on Disney Plus. Yeah, this is going to be quite treacherous, um, quite rocky down this little bit here and very very steep although the camera 
Ugh, isn't quite picking this up right now, how steep this is, but I've just got to be a bit careful. Ah, ah. There we go, and let's just get down this little bit here, and then we're home and dry. Um, try not to, yeah, break anything. Oh, and there we go, down we are. Okay, so let's head back inside now, I think. So we're going to take a little wander back into this location again, which was where the Matardis materialised, and... Blake's Seven's crew sort of got beamed up at the end of the episode games um, but actually this was used at the end as well where the TARDIS um, sort of dematerialised Doctor could you really have solved their problems and won the war for them? Of course I could It was obvious Was it? Yes both sides were fighting with computers but not in me each computer could predict the move of the other and counter it. Result, stalemate. So if that side has switched its computer off and does something irrational... Wins the battle, yes. Make mistakes and confuse the enemy. Brilliant. Yes. Is that why you always win? Yes. What? Because well, you always make mistakes. Mistakes? Me? Well, I've lost a century or so. <laughs> well, I have made the odd mistake. So I'm just going to take a little walk down this other end of the quarry. There's another little cave entrance here which is just hidden around from the main cave entrance that I just want to go and have a little look in. I'm not too sure how big this is going to be but there is the exit there, one of the side exits to the quarry. But this, I've never been in this cave and I'm not too sure what's in this one but it'll be quite interesting just to go and have a little look and and have a little bit of an explore. Oh, I was expecting this cave to be a lot bigger when I was approaching it, but it's tiny in comparison. So I'm gonna head back around the other side and see what we can find. Ah, <laughs> ah I was right, yes. Let's see what you make of it. <laughs> I was right. How modest. Well, let's see what you make of it. A composite material. Gravel in a binding of possibly limestone and clay. Limestone and clay making? Add water, cement. Add gravel. Concrete. You know something? You've got all the makings of a first-class navvy. Concrete. Manufactured. Concrete. Manufactured. So there we go, guys. The filming location of the new up-and-coming series, Star Wars. And or and also the filming location of Doctor Who, Destiny and the Daleks and Blake 7 all filmed in this very quarry behind me. But we are leaving this behind now and heading back to the car for the long walk back up the hill, the one mile journey. When you think you're nearly there, back at the signpost where the footpath begins, you get to this hill. And man, it's a big hill. When you've already walked up from the quarry valley below, my mouth is like a dry kipper in need of some well-earned refreshment. And as we walk back through Worth Matravers, walking past St. Nicholas Parish Church, we're heading back to the pub where the well-earned refreshment will be waiting for me. Do not feed the ducks. Well, feeding the ducks right now is the least of my worries. I have no interest in feeding the ducks as I am so thirsty after that long walk on this very, very warm day. And yeah, I think my need is greater than the ducks and that water definitely isn't gonna be drunk by me. I'm not that desperate to quench my thirst looking at the uh, state of the pond here. And the pub is just up that road, so I think I can wait just that little bit longer for that lovely cool pint of Guinness that I'm so much looking forward to. So you ducks can just stay there and wait for food for now. And looking through those trees, you can see the beautiful coastline down there, the calm water which we left behind on this lovely sunny day. And it truly was a long walk up from down there, and you can see why. Ah, the last little walk, the last hill of the day before we get our lovely cool pint of Guinness at this 
beautiful pub here in Worth Matravers and it really is a nice reward to end the day. Man, this has been such a long day, but highly rewarding nonetheless. Just look at it down there. So let's go inside and get that pint. What are you looking at, Mr. Stony Dinosaur Jurassic Coastline Creature Thing that's led against the pub, you stony slab of fierceness? What are you looking at? Can't I enjoy my pint in peace? Well, I'm going to. What better way to end the vlog? Cheers, guys. Ah. That was much needed. But well, there we have it guys, thank you so much for watching today and all I've got left to say is vlog <sighs> over.